loan. Borrow a sum of money or pro that's Instance of lending, a sum that is usually lent, or an agreement to specify in terms and condition, the right repayments, and so on. Apparently, it's not the right fucking... Still fucking synonymous, what the fuck? So it's... Oh shit, how, I, how the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, fuck me. Uh, this button? No. It's Twitter. Shit. That's tabs. Uh, how the fuck do I get out of here? Got motherfucking damn... This? What, what the fuck is this button? I don't even know what the fuck that button is. That's forward. Can I connect to- Am I- Is my internet down or something? How the fuck did I get out of here? Oh. Home button. Derp. <laughs> okay, whatever. So, there you have it. Borrowing and loaning is the exact same fucking thing. Shut the fuck up. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations, except it's- Hmm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah! Yeah, you're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't truly talk, they're not a they're not people anymore. They're things. Get it? Got it? Good. But hold on, you're saying that that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So uh, okay, uh, as much as Makoto is a little bit too slow on describing things, he is right. Borrowing and loaning is basically the exact same thing. Who are you? So sleep. We're just gonna- Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Byakuya and get your poop together. Or else I'll charge you with Lee Criminal Lee and you guys have no more questions. Figure out. That's fine. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking a mental facility, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main- Oh, you're gonna describe the differences between loaning and borrowing? Do tell, Mr. Byakuya. I'll help you understand what's going on. Okay, card reader has been- let me see exactly what the fuck it's saying. Oh, shit, oops. To unlock a locker room, you need to swipe your e- that e-handbook over the card reader. You need email- okay, that's- It's not possible for two people- additionally, lending someone your handbook is a violation to school regulations. Doesn't say shit about borrowing, so... Whatever. Ugh. If you don't explain this shit, then I'm gonna be fucking pissed. We came to the main hall. So, what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out myself? Oh my god, he's not even gonna bother, okay. Fuck it, whatever, let's go with the Phoenix Wright logic and pretend that that shit doesn't... whatever. Okay, there's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook. No, wait, there's three of them. But what are they doing here? Hm. So you finally found- You knew this all this time or something? What the fuck? Huh? Did you know these were here, Byakuya? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself- Okay! This would make sense! If by borrowing you mean using those things, I get it. If you're using another handbook, then obviously that's stupid because they're both the same thing. But, okay. 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 Continue with this route, game. You're being a lot more smarter than I actually give you guys credit for. Continue. It seems there's a system in place where the ha the ha uh, bleh, where the handbooks of dead students gets delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to... Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I merely turned it on to one of the handbooks, and when I did... Dun 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 dun! You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook! Now you under- now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Okay! Okay, that's a lot smarter than- Okay, Byakuya, okay! Good, you actually explained yourself before rather than being a fucking smartass! Continue on. Be like that. Don't be like those one of those hipster fucks that's like, oh, okay, so it's clear that this uh, my, uh, modern piece of art is like, no, you're just fucking lying off your goddamn ass. No, be more smart. Do that, okay? God damn it. I was about to fucking hate the game for that, just for that sentence alone, but now you're explaining shit. That's good. All right. Anyways, you should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answers have been in front of you the whole time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is, eh, is strictly prohibited. 
Only an act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else is perfectly fine. Nice. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Main Hall e-handbooks has been added to the truth. Okay. What? Hmm? Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Who is it? The other handbook shows Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. The memory of it came flowing back, flooding back. The cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution. That the master- oh my god, I really want to know. If someone dies here, how the fuck are they going to die in this- uh, In this, uh, investigation. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the hand- the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Damn it! Hey! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! Estas Alberto Grande! What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, what? That e-handbook is essentially a two-student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. That's impossible! If I said it would break, it would freaking break! It can withstand up to tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100. Up to 100. Well, then again, I'll see how. There's like, I don't think the wa fucking pool is 100 meters, but whatever. I don't care how many baseballs you hit with it; it wouldn't do crap. Oh, but uh, even my amazing handbook has does have one single weak point. It does. I can't hear you. But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks! What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. hmm. Hard to say! You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken! Wah -wah? But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? <laughs> Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's undeniable fact that it's not turning on. That's Maybe fine. it needs to be charged? I don't know. Well, it does not... Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something's still bothering... That is true, so I think we should really focus on the case at hand. Maybe we'll figure it out l in later on after the case or something. But yeah, let's put that into the... Broken E handbook? Unless that actually does have pertaining... Some relevance to the case, I doubt it, but okay. Hmm. <clears throat> One of the handbooks is found in the main hall have been broken, which is apparently a rare occurrence. Junkos and Saika's handbook both seem to be still working, so it's assumed that the broken handbooks is Leon's. However, Malakuma claims it's very unlikely that Leon's handbook could have, would have been broken. Unlikely! But there's still a possibility. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay then. This should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation on earning and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? Do tell, Byakuya. What do you mean by that, Byakuya? To be exact, not quite? Hmm. Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely... <laughs> I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then, you really, th you really, really think... You truly believe Genocide Jack is one of the who killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat myself. Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the... I will say, though, now that he's actually become more of a... It's actually a smart uh, decision for um, Byakuya to continuously go into the library and study up or whatever, because I'm pretty sure, like, during his library time, he was studying up on this Genocide Jack fella. And so if there's anyone who's really interested in that type of thriller, it's definitely Byakuya. Holy shit, I'm actually liking this character. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, this character is actually interesting. He's not like your stereotypical, stereotypical, eh, stereotypical bully that's obviously, oh, he's the bad guy for the sake of being a bad guy. No, he's actually, 
an interesting fellow here. Sure, his personality could use some work, but hey, he's a dick, uh, whatever. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? I'll give this, this, I'll give this, I'll say this straight out of the way. I think it's pretty obvious. Byakuya is definitely a lot better than fucking Toko. Man. What the fuck does she see in him? You're, you no, know, no, just no, please. Byakuya, for the sake of our friendship, our, not, not our friendship, maybe our acquaintance. Don't go out with Toko, just please for the love of fucking God. Assuming that she's not the killer. I really hope she's the killer. <laughs> Alright, anyways, there's nobody else it could be. <laughs> A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. Back. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Maybe this genocide jack is not really a physical manifestation, but rather some sort of ghost maybe or maybe he's like some sort of spirit that's like infected the minds and uh propag what's what's a synonym for propaganda something something on the lines of those students who potentially wanted to kill others or something i don't know i really gotta learn more about this genocide jack thing which i won't be able to do because you're in the fucking library hogging the goddamn book uh, whatever. Uh, still, could one of us really be the demented, psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. But words means little right now. <laughs> I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Alright, provide your evidence. Please, do tell. What do you mean by that, but you have to be... Okay. <laughs> Don't make me... Alright. And I have a base to believe, I assure you, Genocide Jack is one of us. Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear now. Evidence that Ch Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence that something like that really? Uh, hey you two? Who are you? B big trouble! Need your help! I don't have time to play with you. Maybe if what happens if it's another killer? Cause I mean, but it's an emergency, emergency! Come on, please, you gotta help me. All right, uh, uh not you, <laughs> not you, door. What happened? Please. This is a serious emergency. Please, you, quickly, say it. What happened? Just calm down, okay, Nia? I mean, but but it's an. In well, tell me the emergency. Stop saying it's an emergency. Tell me what the emergency. Stop hitting me. Stop telling me to hit me and hit me. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super. As if she hasn't acted super strange before? Well, I mean, she's acting pretty strange earlier, right? <laughs> what should we do, Byakuya? You're a bodyguard, right? Very strange. Since it's Toko, I must admit, I am intrigued. <laughs> oh no, don't, please, don't, Byakuya, don't, come on! I thought we had a connection going, please don't fuck this up! I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no, and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! Let's go. It looks like she'll head to the dorms, to Toko's room, most likely. Okay. We'll be right back after these... Not messages, because I don't monetize these videos. We'll be right back to the next episode. Stay tuned for that.